Turn that up a little. All right. So weird that Hijink Studio made this. Or helped in the development or production of it or something. Time to actually go to Silent Hill. I just met some guy named Vincent. Vincent? He's a friend of yours, right? I'm not sure. He said when we get to Silent Hill, to look for a guy named Leonard, and he gave me this map. What do you want to do? We can't trust him, but we've got no other choice. Yeah, take this too. What's this? Your father was holding it. Sleeping? I'm awake. You cold? What's the deal with Silent Hill anyway? Used to be a nice, quiet little town. But now. You've been there? Once, on a missing persons case. Never did find him. But I tell you, that's one screwed up town. My line of work? You hear a lot of nasty rumors. I was born and raised there. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to offend you. No offense taken. Anyway, I thought you grew up in Portland. What's wrong? You feeling sick? My head's pounding, like the worst hangover ever. Maybe you're car sick. No, I'm just trying to remember. My childhood. Something terrible happened in Silent Hill 17 years ago. A woman named Dahlia, she tried to summon the ancient god of the town. She offered up her very own daughter. That's crazy. 
Maybe so, but it worked. The girl gave birth to a god. Huh? You see, the girl had special powers. Powers? Her classmates called her a witch. She can make things happen with her mind. She could kill people just by wishing for it. But in the end, the god was killed by a single person. My father, Harry Mason. I guess it wasn't much of a god if it could be killed by a human being. But I think Claudia is trying to do the same thing again. And I've been chosen as the sacrifice. You've got some kind of power in you too? After the god was killed, the girl reappeared. She was holding a baby in her arms. Before she died, she gave the baby to my father. He loved me just like I was his very own daughter. Even though he didn't know who or what I was. It was so sudden. I never had a chance to, to tell you. Tell you how happy you made me. I'm gonna head for that Leonard guy's house. You check out the hospital. You got the map, right? Yeah. You gonna be okay alone? I'm not a child, you know. Are you sure it's not you who's afraid to be alone? <laughs> You're right. I am afraid. I'm 50-something years old, and I've never seen nothing like this. I feel like I'm dreaming. <laughs> More like a nightmare, I'd say. <sighs> yeah. I want to wake up and have a smoke already. Meet me back here when you're finished looking around the hospital, okay? Roger. <laughs> hmm, pretty emotional scenes.
This is uh, Heather's aggressive stance. <laughs> Dang it. Jackson. I wonder if there's anywhere you can actually go. Can you go to Rosewater Park? No, looks block blocked off. Can I go? Can I go to heaven tonight? This is where other Maria came from. Hmm. offensive.
fucking shelf. to the hospital or no? There we go. Got the map and I got a save point. Medical record. It's for this Leonard guy. Is 
Is it S12 or 512? I think it's 512. Presenting mild audiovisual hallucinations, emotional instability, obsessive ideas. Suspect. Mild schizophrenia. Will continue observation. Basically calm and cooperative with a strong sense of justice. However, according to reports, becomes very violent when overexcited. The other one is for Stanley Coleman. Room 507. Usually passive, aggressive, and cowardly. Also egotistical. Sometimes shows and acts on obsessive attachment to a particular woman. This has caused violent incidents. Use caution. Okay. 512 and 507. Catherine Day. This day has finally come. That's right. The day when you and I will meet. I was always thinking of you here in this gloomy cell. I never even knew your name or face until today. But now I know. I know you're the one I've been waiting for. And haven't you been waiting for me too? That's why you came to rescue me. Oh, how I love you, Heather. What? I want to give you my prize doll I made to commemorate our meeting, the start of this everlasting love. Oh, I can already see your smiling face, Stanley Coleman. What? What's that room called? Oh, visiting room. Okay.
Just a bunch of sea ones. All right. has me shut up in here. They mean to break my will, to make me forget about all that. But I'll stay sane, even if they throw me in here with lunatics. How about if I stick this to the wall? That would be worthless. You can peel it off, can't you? With that junk those res nasty winches won't stop using. But why haven't you taken my doll with you? Oh, my gift must have embarrassed you. How cute you are, Heather. If a thing has no meaning, there's no reason for it to exist at all, just as you exist for me. So I assume I'm on first floor. There's a second and third floor. Hmm. Up.
not have yet have realized your own true feelings, but you sense them unconsciously. What I sense is that the game is glitching you. And so you're trying to get closer to me. That's a virtue, the path to paradise. But if the door is locked, open it. Use the password for the prison gates. Doctor, I've forgotten his name. Anyway, that quack has it posted. He should be here too. I mean, four numbers would have been good enough, but he kept on going. Isn't it a shame I'm not there? Aren't you irritated? I long for you, but you're so cruel. Still, I want you, Heather. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Their bodies are still here.
So I'm going to leave it off here. I'll pick it up in the next one. I want to thank you for watching. Feel free to leave a comment. Bye-bye.